UVI Falcon is a huge workstation for sound making, sound design. You can also create products with it. It's kind of like pigments from Arturia in that it's made in France. And it's also has uh, multiple synthesis engines. So you can choose between oscillators, sampling, granular, different types of things like that. Except in the case of UVI Falcon, you really have no limits. Um, it's really just limited by your computer processing power. Um, so we're going to take a look at how we can uh, incorporate MPE into some of these great sounding synthesizers and uh, build out our own patch with some uh, MPE additions. So the first thing we want to look at is some of the factory defaults. And in the factory content, there's some extra MPE presets. And these kind of give you a good head start on what you can do. So if we open up, um, for example, this, which has a wavetable, and that's using MPE immediately. So you can see that on the morph, what I'm using is the innovators overlay. And I've got one of the simplest possible overlays in that it's um, just four big sliders, four big areas, each just four different notes. And uh, I just wanted something very simple for this because I wanted to spend more time exploring the timbre of notes rather than, you know, playing riffs and melodies. So this is just a piece of paper. I sharpied out the areas approximately. So I know where the boundaries are. And the cool, there's a really cool thing that you can do is that um, you can actually send four of the same note, or I mean really up to 15 of the same note, um, just by placing multiple fingers on one note. So if we take a listen here, we're playing four voices of the same note, but then we can start to detune them and change the timbre. which is already pretty incredible. This is, you're gonna need headphones for this one. And that is great because we can actually afford ourselves the room for doing that type of stuff. Whereas a piano key just doesn't have that room, neither does a bookless slider, or even really a, uh, an MP, MPC pad like on the music production overlay. Um, so with that in mind, this MPE patch is really just kind of affecting the, the phase distortion. You can see it with the animation, with the pressure, and then Y is changing the wave index on the wavetable in a, a negative way. Um, one of the, my complaints about UVI Falcon is it's not easy to see in the same way that you get with like, um, audio damage quanta or with serum, uh, you don't get that matrix view, so you can't really easily chase down what is assigned to what for modulation. Um, you kind of have to right click and edit modulation, then you'll see um, some funky little lists and the amounts. That said, you do have a lot of power. You can create curves and mappings for each uh, modulation, which is pretty cool. Um, the way you set up MPE is you add a script processor and events, and I'll go through that now with a preset that is not MPE. So we'll go um, find an arpeggiated one. And um, I'm working with a psi bass. So this is kind of groovy. And it's just an arpeggiated uh, bass line for all your Psytrance needs. So Again, we'll go to events, and here's how we add the MPE modulators. We add a script processor, utilities, MPE, and then we are given the sort of defaults. Uh, you can see pressure is automatically applied to gain, and that refers to your topmost gain of your program. You don't see the animation, but you can hear it, especially if I dial it back a little bit. So it's not a huge amount of expressive gain, but 
it is something. Um, but you can change that. So you can change that to send poly after touch on pressure. You can see Y is already a assigned poly after touch. And I'll change that to mod one. And I'm going to change X to mod two. Now, in this patch, I want to add a few things that I can control with my fingers. So in the key groups area, I'm going to add some effects. I'm going to add um, a distortion. And I'm going to add a low pass filter. And let's see, or I'm sorry, a high pass filter. And I'll bump up the resonance. And so, so that's pretty bright and crazy. Um, what I want to do is attach the X value to this uh, high pass filter. And we do that in any modulation you apply to any parameter. You just right click or double tap clip on, on your uh, trackpad and add modulation. And then you find internal program um, new script event modulation. And here I want to match event ID 2 because that's what we see here in the events. ID 2 is pitch. And then we also want to add modulation and add program new script event modulation. And go to the curves and add a curve. And I want the range to be a little bit bigger than what I get by default. Uh, just because I want it to be a little bit more sensitive across the range on X. And let's see, I want to change the preset to um, something with a, a more of a curve to it. And let's see how that sounds. So that sounded pretty good. So we've got the X set up on the analog crunch. I want to change the mix and modulate that with pressure. So again, add modulation. And in this case, we're sending pressure on poly after touch. Um, it could also be where, something similar where we send it on a script modulator on mod number zero. And again, I'm going to really want to affect that um, the sensitivity of that curve. I don't want much at the top end. So if we edit the modulation and go to the curves again, um, I'm going to set a preset of something like that and really just kind of bring the sensitivity down. And so it's almost like a threshold. And I actually want the range to go to zero to one, just because that is how that works. Um, so I'll change the presets to, there we go, and really kill off those bottom ends. And so that's the pressure. And then we have Y still that we can apply to something. So I will actually apply the Y to this. And again, program uh, new script event. And I believe Y is on one. And I want to increase that value there. So that's pretty crazy. It's still pretty much out of control and hard, hard to control. So I think a lot of those curves need to be refined, but I'm starting to get someplace with this. I really like the sound.
I like being able to fire off that distorted sound into the delay and really set things off. So that's kind of a quick overview of how to apply MPE controls to different things in uh, UVI Falcon's programs. Now, to be transparent, there's some things I didn't touch on, and that is because I haven't figured them out. For example, using the MPE controls to control the macros. Now, macros are a global control, not per voice, and I suspect that's why I can't do this directly. Similarly, I'd like to be able to apply MPE gestures to the global effects, but again, I can't access the same controls in the same way that we did for the parameters on the voice. So this is going to take some more exploration. There's a lot to do in UVI Falcon and a lot to explore. There's tons of types of synthesis, and I think there's a lot to get to know in here. So that is the wide world of UVI Falcon and how to add MPE to it. I hope we can learn more about some of the questions that I have, and we'll get back to that and discuss it.